I'm gonna show you all the tip that I learned on straight back here. that they train everybody different states different trainers different expectations but if you can see which i don't know if you even can see but if you can right now my truck is pretty much straight and how i know it's straight is on the side of the trailer i can see the trailer number on this side and i can see it on this side now if your wheel is straight if you keep one hand at the top of your trailer, the tip, the key to staying in a straight line, which I'm actually gonna need to get out of a straight line because I need to line up a little bit more. But when you're backing up, all right, let me put the seat belt on so it doesn't continue to go. Let's say I'm backing up. So right now, I don't know if you all can see in this mirror, but the side of the truck is now covering the trailer numbers but on this side i can see the trailer numbers which is you probably can't see it on the gopro but nonetheless if you slightly turn your wheel right just slightly like one turn one half turn and back up oh hold on i'm like way off All right, so if I turn my wheel like one half turn to the left, I'll start getting back in front of the trailer. Now I can see the trailer number on both sides. Now I can straighten my wheel. Once whatever side those numbers start to fade on, that's the side that you're going to want to turn your steering wheel to and that will get you back straight. So as you're backing in a straight line, when you see those numbers starting to fade, turn your steering wheel towards the numbers and you'll get yourself back straight. Now for the purpose of this, I kind of need to, I needed to adjust a little bit anyway, but it all works out. I'll try to um, maybe add some pictures into the, uh, really get you all to understand what I'm saying a little bit better if you could pay attention to this image right here um, I basically just use a little truck parking app kind of thing and just screen recorded it uh, in the future I'll be able to do this a little bit better but just for the sake of making this quick and easy if you were to imagine yourself straight line back in in this truck right going straight back from where the truck is right now you will see that your trailer is actually starting to go to the left as you're backing up because there is a bit of an angle in the actual um truck and trailer itself so your your tractor is actually forward facing to the left and your trailer is rearward facing to the left so you have like a bend a slight bend in your uh, tractor trailer which will cause your trailer to start going to the left if you were to envision this as yourself in an actual truck if you were looking out of your driver's side window into the mirror what you will see is on the front of your trailer your trailer numbers would begin to fade you wouldn't be able to see them so as i was describing in the video before you will turn your wheel your steering wheel to the left probably one full turn to the left and as you start to back up you will notice that your tractor is starting to get back in line with your trailer. Once the numbers are even on 
even in your left mirror and your right mirror, that is how you know you are back in line and you will start to go back straight. All right, so now we're pretty much straight. Now, let me see. So now we're pretty much straight in line with the door. Now, as you can see in the mirror, those trailer numbers that are like right there, the 64109 on the side of the truck, I can see those numbers on this side in the mirror and I can also see them on the other side in the in the passenger side mirror. So if I'm backing up, right, and I'm kind of mess myself up on purpose, but if I'm backing up and those numbers start to fade like that, where now I can't really see them, in order to get straight, I have to turn my steering wheel towards the numbers. So if I turn towards the numbers and I back up, you'll see that the numbers start coming back. Now, once I can see that it's even on both sides, that's how I know that I'm straight. So at that point, I can straighten my wheel and just come straight back. The same thing, if the numbers start to fade on the right side, turn your wheel to the right and you'll get yourself back straight. The, the key to it though, is just making sure that you're going nice and slow so that you don't um, you don't throw your throw the trajectory off of where you're gonna end up all right so I'm back then I'm gonna grab my paperwork and um, head in here get unloaded help them with the specials and um, I'll tap back in with y'all uh, shortly So yeah, back to Ohio we go. The route that we're taking is basically uh, I-90 to 271 to 71, or to 270. Uh, well, yeah, 70, whatever. Y'all get, y'all get the drift. <laughs> so let's get it. I stopped over here at this mall, and I stopped at that Best Buy over there. Uh, which I don't know if y'all can even see that but yeah the best buy over there save a lot of money like that uh, instead of being out here eating fast food all the time you can eat a little bit healthier and also at the same time save money I probably spend about $40 a week maybe on my meal prep and that's like a good five days 
the five days that I'm out, Monday through Friday, um, you know, a meal or two a day, just depending on how I'm feeling at the time. I usually don't eat too much. I usually eat maybe like one meal a day and just snack for the rest of the day.